Hi guys, welcome back. I am so jazzed. This is my first layout for June 2022 for the scrap room kits. And I am now um, going to be working with the flavors of the month. So this one is Vicky Booten Sweet Rush. And we've got some gorgeous product. I have a complete unboxing and all that kind of stuff. So don't you worry. I have all of that available. Um, I'm looking at this stuff and I want to use freaking everything all at once, even though I know I've got such great stuff. Ooh, look at this. I've got a little dimensional heart too. Okay. Let me tell you about my photo. It's just cute. It's so cute. This is my youngest eating an ice cream. That's it. It's cute and it's bright and this super bright pop of color in the photo just reminded me of the color saturation that Vicki Booten utilizes. So awesome. So what I think I'm going to do, oh, and I'm going to use our sketch of the month. D Hunt created it. Let me show you what we have. So some kind of pattern paper background, right? Great. Um, strip across. We can do that. Photo. I have one of those. Stuff going on down here, kind of tucked into a third strip. See how there's these heart pattern papers that are on this piece? So kind of tucked into that strip, we've got perhaps tags sticking out, maybe three by four cards and embellishments, even a little tab punch. So I will grab my little vintage tab punch out and keep that on my desk because why the heck not, right? Oh, and a title down here, sweet. Okay, so I was looking at it and I was thinking that this would be a really great background for this idea. So I'm gonna start there. So let me just go ahead and trim off that branding strip. Now, thing to note is always take a look at your branding strips from Vicki Booten because they're pretty gorgeous. So we have that. So here is going to be my background. I am thinking we've got this really, really gorgeous navy that's in our kit. So I'm going to go ahead and back my layout or map my layout with this because oh, look at the color match. All right, I'm going to do that. And then for that strip going across, I thought it'd be really cool to use some of these circles but wait I also thought I'm being kind of greedy with them because they're super gorgeous so I'm going to split them up and I'll show you what I mean okay you see how we have this I think I'm going to do a thing where I cut them in half at the blue because my photo will in essence all right, it's gonna go like this, so I will go like this. Boop, flip, flip, flip. My photo, in essence, will be covering a bunch of that, and I want to see as much of it as possible. Cute. Now, I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for my strips, which I can use navy. What's on the other side of this? Ooh, I could use this for my strips, and it looks like swirls of ice cream. Okay, doing that. And then I want to detail cut out some of these gorgeous florals for some of my die cuts. Now, I still have these, which I am smitten with, so we're gonna find a way to work them in. I mean, I have, look at guys, I have a die cut with an ice cream, so yeah, that's gonna work. Looking on the bright side, ooh, look at this lovingness. I have lovingness, I have this great camera, I've got this cool stuff, so I have lots of stuff to work with. So what I'm gonna do right now is get these pieces put down and map my photo and I'll be right back. All right guys, this is so cute. This strip, this strip, this strip is just the cutoff pieces from this gorgeous background paper I have. And I'm like, let me take a look because you know how we have those three strips on the sketch and they're cute. All right, so I then went ahead and matted my photo in the back of this paper right here and then in some navy. Now I was going to do these little strips in this paper, but it just totally worked out. Now I'm starting to place my little bits. Oh, and I popped my photo up on just a little dimensional adhesive. 
And this is a secret bit that other people don't need to know about. I liked this enjoy life, but I don't need the eat cake. So I was thinking, okay, what if I do something kind of like this and cover up that gap? That's fine. Start with a floral here. I know I want to pop or the ice cream down here. Maybe loving this. Not quite sure. We're working on it. We're working on it. I'm going to start putting things and seeing how they're vibing. Now, these cameras are awfully cute. So maybe camera as well, and I'll pop stuff up. Stuff will be popped up. Not sure what. Now, looking on the bright side, I don't really know if I need that. Loving this may just be my title. I do dig that. I got these pieces, and remember I said I wanted to detail cut out some of these dramatic bits. So I'm still going to do that. Now, our sketch has like tabs. Um, it has a tab up above the photo area, and I might not do that because I have these really cute pieces here. So what would I like to use? Maybe this teal one. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this piece out, and I'm going to have lots of other ones for later on, and that's cool. So I can have that as well in lieu of a tab kind of thing. I, was, I had my tab punch out, but I have these really great pieces, so I might as well use them, right? And what I can do is down here, maybe I will bring that green in and repeat the little piece. So I have these really great labels to use. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this down here as my cluster base now. So I have this, okay, that's even cuter, guys. It's cute, and I might have loving this here, so I'm gonna have a really nice diagonal. All right, I'm gonna spend a minute and detail cut out a couple of cool flowers. So I'm kind of digging my placement. I did cut this one little floral piece here, and I made sure to just cut a little bit of it because I knew I was gonna be tucking it. So I'm thinking kind of like this for my current master plan. Loved detail cutting out these little bits. I just wanna make sure that they're shimmied in just enough. And I'm going to start attaching all of this gorgeousness down. Now, I'll be popping Loving This Up on a little dimensional adhesive. I just use this kid's cheap crap Um, Maybe popping up a little bit of a spot over here as well as this cute little ice cream cone so that I have dimension and fun stuff and it'll be so pretty. So that's my plan for that. So I think I better get to doing that. Now I'd really like to use this little dimensional heart as well. It's so cool. So we will just decide where that's going to go. Maybe down in this lower cluster, because this one looks so heavy. And, oh, but wait, there's more. I also want to get some of these on. So give me a moment. This is coming together so cute. I'm going to go ahead and take this little notebook edge punch looking sticker and just pop it right there. No good reason. I just think it's cute. And I tore the edges of it a little bit for a bit of interest. So I have that. I also have this little bit down here and I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and use it or not. I think maybe I can get it under this floral bit. Let's see how this looks. I'm not sure if it's gonna let me because everything's kind of attached to each other, but it might add a tiny bit of interest. Oh, it does, just a little something. Perfect, okay, I have that. That, 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 that. I used two of these so that is plenty there this what is this called are these called mosera leaves i don't know they're called something like that i'm not quite sure such cute branding strips i already have my title with loving this so i'm going to let that go and then i have to see if i can stick this little bit in and then guys i think this is actually going oh that's cute to be done Let's see about right here. Oh, it's got a little pop dot already hanging out. So I don't like it there as much, but I do like the idea. What if I take this floral bit out? 
and go ahead and just, nope, can't read enjoying. We're trying, we're trying, thinking. Let me pop off some of that leaf. And then this is going to be complete in just a moment. Alrighty, this is this layout done. I have fun texture and dimension and all the bright colors that Vicki Booten brings us. How great that I got the ice cream cone, hello. So there we go. Okay, I'm gonna have links down below for the Scrap Room website, blog, and Facebook group. So be sure to share your projects that you create with the same kits because I'm always so curious what other people do does with the same does do's does with the same goodies. Okay guys, I'll be back ever so soon with another video. Bye for now.